सर्व भगवान ही धाम रूप में विराजमान है इसी प्रकार सर्वत्र ज्ञान रूप में चित रूप में समस्त जगत में व्यक्त है प्रकाश रूप में सब को ज्ञान प्रदान करते हैं सब सत्ता सबका आश्रय स्थल है देखने में मिट्टी जैसा खूब जैसा पंत ऐसा नहीं पानी में जैसा कमल रहता है ऐसे ही इस पृथ्वी में भूमि में ये मथुरा पूरी We saw the deity. We took the darshan. We took darshan of the deity, and she is also very close friend to Jamuna Devi. And uh, Prabhu just told us that in India there are seven puris or seven places which give liberation. So Mathura is prominent among all of them. They all worship Mathura and Kashi, Kanti, Avantika, and all the names which he took. Even the Mukti. She gets liberation when she comes to Mathura. That exalted in the position of Mathura, and it is also said this is the board of the Lord. And in Gopal Tapni Upanishad, it has been uh, called as Brahma Gopal Puri, where Gopal he lives in the form of Parabrahma, so that is Brahma Gopal Puri. And it is also called Golok because the land of cows. Go means cows. Now he was telling that. Uh, There are fourteen planetary systems in this material world, and when we cross that, then comes the Virja, and after that comes Siddha Lok or Brahm Lok, and after that comes Narayan Lok, and up after that comes the topmost planet, uh, that is this three: uh, Mathura, Dwarka, and Braj. So Krishna performs his pastimes in these three. That's called Golok Dham. So Krishna performs his pastime in three of these places, and <coughs> Mathura. is situated in this material world in such a way as a lotus flower is resides in water though it is in the material universe but still it's completely transcendental and it is very potent and the glories are that if somebody spends even one night in mathura he will get krishna prem in his heart so we should pray here for the mercy of mathura devi and be blessed that we may be also gifted with the blessing and that we can have this krishna prem and we can have those sincere desire to serve krishna for his pleasure not for our pleasure and we can benefit uh, this wonderful opportunity to come here and do the parikrama i also want you to request one more thing since we are going to many temples so <clears throat> i remember in the previous year also when maharaj used to come here then he would always tell us that those who can uh always donate some money it is very good for uh everyone who does that so we do uh, although we do that i mean brahmachari shivanand prabhu is giving on behalf of maharaj and all the world so individually also if anybody wants to give 1 rupee 2 rupee to this temple that is very good it benefit for uh, us also i mean you will get so much uh, sukritis at the same time it is service to the temple because that's how they maintain they expect that devotees and uh, uh people will come they will take darshan and they can maintain the temple so this will be a sort of service to the town हरिपो
उपस्थित हुए हैं यही मथुरा का प्रसिद्ध स्थान दीर्घ विष्णु जहाँ पर ब्रजविलासी श्याम सुंदर अक्रूर के प्रार्थना पर कंस के द्वारा भेजे गए निमंत्रण से यहाँ मथुरा में जब अक्रूर के रथ में बैठकर कृष्ण बलदेव आए तब वृंदावन दरवाजे पर नंद बाबा ने डेरा तामू लगाया शाम को दर्शन करते हुए जब चले सखाओं ने कृष्ण से कहा कि हे कृष्ण कंस तो बहुत बड़ा पहलवान है बड़ा वीर है और तुम छोटा सा बालक है या इतने बड़े कंस महाराज को तुम कैसे मारोगे ये तो तुमसे संभव नहीं है ब्रज में खेल खेलते खेलते बड़े बड़े असुरों को पछाड़ा है परंतु कंस के सामने तुम कैसे लड़ सकता है कंस कितना बड़ा वीर था एक समय बिहार का राजा जरासंध समस्त देश विजय करते करते जब मथुरापुरी में चढ़ाई जाने के लिए आया तो यहाँ से 40 किलोमीटर दूर हाथरस में अपने सैनिक छावनी लगाया तो वहां से कंस की बलवीर की परीक्षा लेने को या कुछ हाथियों को भेजा और ऐसे किया महावारों के द्वारा महत्वों के द्वारा कि दुकानों में जाकर के तो हसनास तोड़ फाड़ करे हाथी वैसे करने लगे इतने में सब त्राही मच गया शहर में चहल पहल मचा बड़ा हई चाह हुआ कंस महाराज को खबर गया उस समय महाराज कंस आए आ करके उस हाथी को पैर पकड़ करके यहाँ से उठा के फेंक दिया हाथरस में जा करके सैनिक छावनी में गिरा कितने कितने सैनिक खत्म हो गए उस समय जरासंद ने कहा इससे लड़ाई नहीं की जा सकती है तो अपने लड़की की दो लड़की थी अस्थि और प्राप्ति दोनों लड़की की शादी कंस से कराई अपने जम, अपना जमाई बना लिया बना करके उनसे संधि मित्रता कर ली इसी तरह से कंस महा पहलवान तो बहुत बड़ा वीर है उसके साथ कोई लड़ नहीं सकता देवता लोग भी डरते हैं तो शेखाओं ने कृष्ण से कहा कृष्ण ने कहा अरे शेखा तुम डरते क्यों है अरे कंस इतना बड़ा लंबा चौड़ा पुरुष है तो हम क्या नहीं है अरे हम भी तो ऐसे ही इतने बड़े हैं देखो हमारा स्वरूप उस समय विराट रूप दिखा दिया बहुत लंबे चौड़े विष्णु का स्वरूप जिनके एक श्वास में अनंत करोड़ ब्रह्मांड नाक से निकलते हैं और जब श्वास लेते हैं तब तो एक सौ वर्ष का वो ब्रह्मांड उनके अंदर प्रवेश करते ब्रह्म संहिता में कहा है कि जैसे निश्वसितम काल मथा अवलंब जीवंती लोम बिलजा जगत दंड ना था जिनके एक निश्वास काल में अनंत गढ़ ब्रह्मांड प्रकाश होते हैं और ये सारा संसार फिर उन्हीं में प्रलय हो जाते हैं ऐसे विष्णु जो मंदिर आते हुए सबको आश्वासन दिया When Akura had come to take Krishna and Balram to Mathura, and Kansa has invited them, so they were planning to kill Kansa. So when he was here, Nanda Baba has uh, uh, put his camp at the gate of Brindavan, the borderline between Mathura and Brindavan. So they were all there, and all the Sakhas has also come there. So when they were, they heard that Krishna is going to actually Kansa has made a plan to kill Krishna. So they were very afraid. that how krishna their friend who is so small and weak and how he can uh, he will be able to defeat kansa or kill him so they were very afraid and scared so they were asking krishna uh, you better change your plans you see because uh, it's not wise for you to come there <laughs> to go there when you know that his plan is to kill you so then krishna said <coughs> you don't worry uh, i will tackle him very nicely you don't know my uh, powers So they said, "No, you don't know about uh, Kansa's powers. We have heard that Kansa is very powerful. And at one time, Jarasang, the king of Bihar, he was also very powerful. He was uh, winning everyone. And when he came to win Kansa, then in Hathras, that is about 40 kilometers from here, he made his camp, and all the army was there. And just to test Kansa's power, he sent few elephants, very powerful elef- elephants, to this place." and these elephants were driven by uh, the elephant riders in such a way that they would go and do lot of damage to the city and they will panic all the people there so now when 
this thing was happening, so all the city people, they were very uh, uh, panicked and they were scared what, how we're we going to rescue it from this elephant. So Kansa, when he heard that, he came, just on his own he came and he, with his just one hand, he took all the, uh, one by one, all the elephants and threw them back to Hathras. So, <laughs> threw them back to Hathras. So when uh, Jarasangi saw, oh, is that powerful? <laughs> so, <laughs> it's not wise to fight with him. So he changed his plan and he had two daughters. So he married them with Kansa and made, made him his uh, son-in-law. He said, that's wise because we cannot conquer him. So then they told the story to Krishna and Krishna said, you don't worry. Uh, you haven't seen my form. If he is that big, I'm also that big. And then he showed them their big Vishnu form. The form, it was so huge, universal form. And in his breath, they saw millions and millions of universes manifesting in just one breath. And in the same breath, they would even go back, unmanifest. So then Prabhuji was telling a shlok from Brahma Samhita in which Lord Brahma is also praying uh, that uh, Vishnu who is so powerful that unlimited universes are manifesting from his just one breath and within that breath they even unmanifest also. That Vishnu is just a partial expansion of Krishna. So we cannot imagine how powerful is Krishna but because of his compassionate nature of his loving tendency towards his devotees just to play wonderful pastimes for pleasure pastimes he assumes a human like form and uh, plays with his cowherd boyfriends and they, they are unable to understand that how powerful Krishna is so then Krishna showed him his Dirga Vishnu form and after seeing that form they were pacified yes Krishna can <laughs> kill Kansa they were no more scared <laughs> <laughs>